If there's one thing that brings us all together, it's food. So we're calling everyone to the table to dish on everything, from the latest food hacks and trends to everyday recipes you can make for dinner tonight. It's simple, it's celebratory, and most of all, it's about having a great time in the kitchen. Oh. What is going wrong? I'm trying to help. <laughs> Let's dish. Welcome to the Dish on Oz. My daughter Daphne and Jamika Pessoa are here. I actually fast for a day in preparation for shows like this. Daphne, what are you going to dish on today? Well, good. I'm glad you're hungry. So you and your kids will be dressing up for Halloween tomorrow. Why shouldn't your food do the same? I like to make a fun dinner on Halloween so everyone isn't tempted to just fill up on candy. That's a, I learned it from you, right? Yes. <laughs> the candy, too. Um, so we're going to be dressing up some of your favorite foods, like pizza dressed as a burger. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty good. Definitely a treat. And loaded Hasselback potatoes. Oh, so good. And butternut squash. I know, I know. I'm speaking your language. Then Jamaica's Cookies and Scream Graveyard Cake. It's actually a really easy, fun, oh, kind of crafty cake. And it will definitely be the top of the neighborhood. Oh, yes. I think that sounds like a menu that needs a drink, don't you? Of course. Don't you? Let's <laughs> wait and see. <laughs> Ah, the beer fairy is coming. <laughs> Pumpkin beers. That was your nickname growing what, up? Hey, okay, that's what they call me in college, the beer fairy. Thanks what is this? It's pumpkin beer. Ooh. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, it's the season for that, yes. Off it. Mm. None of us oh, nice. but we all just like, oh, yes, we're like, beer. Yeah, we're good. like, oh, great, thank you. It tastes like pumpkin. It's really nice, I like it. Actually, I get the clove coming through Ooh. a little, like all that pumpkin pie spice. Interesting. Pie and a beer. Take it. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> it go well with what we're cooking today. So, mm. your favorite all-time Halloween costumes. I, I have an idea what that <laughs> might be, right? Do the you? One, yeah, really but curious. I want to know what the ones you've pulled off that you're really proud of. Hmm. You go first. Okay. There was this one. The assignment was to be your favorite food and an icon or a legend. So I combined the two worlds together, and I came up with y'all a Tina Turner tuna roll. What? Yes. Yes. Look. Look. Oh, look, look, look. oh my goodness! You really are. <laughs> Drop it oh, yes. right now. Oh yes. Oh. It was fabulous. I was like rolling, rolling, to the rolling, rolling. <laughs> it's such a clever idea. It's perfect. I a loved it. Thank you. Yes. You know, <laughs> see, I, I feel like we need you around our house a little bit more because in our family, there we, you know. We're not like big planners of our costumes. We kind of go to the trunk, you know, and we're like, what do we have in here that you can put? Makes it organic. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very inspirational pieces that come out. You actually can see this come to life because I was at another a costume party that was, I, I don't remember what the theme was, but I made myself into a fortune teller. I was very, you know, I had the headdress and the headpiece ah, on and this. this like beautiful <laughs> brocade coat, again, that I dug out of the trunk. You look gorgeous, um, though. Well, that was, that's the real point. You just want to have something that makes that you look sort pretty of interesting. Glam. And weird and yeah, pretty glam. hopefully that. That attractive. Um, but what you'll really love is that that coat made another appearance on a different member of our family the year before at Halloween Wait. in a completely yep. different iteration of Halloween there costume. He is. <laughs> <laughs> this is why it works. I said, if you want to save a little money, get a trunk, recycle the costumes, they work. But anyway, my favorite thing right now is dress up with the grandkids. It's the best. And this is us, me, my son in law, and little John. Dressed up like bat the oh, Batman. Yes. The Batman. Yes. You were the Adam West. All right. Now, I love a family costume. I love to do a theme, right? So last year, we went all 70s. So look at this. So Sasha oh, was groovy baby. Oh my goodness. I was soul mama. And my husband, he was such a trooper. He was disco daddy with a really bad Afro wig. Like, he played along. <laughs> well, you know, we, we showed you ours. Now we we're going to give you something delicious to go with it. I think it's time we get started on that delicious stuffed burger. So here's the best part. If you can't decide if, if you want pizza or or burgers, you don't have to anymore. We're gonna show you how to put them both together. Jamika, you give me a hand with this, please? Of course, of course. I, I kind of love the whole idea of a stuffed burger to begin with because mm -hmm. it's kind of like a surprise. It's a surprise inside and you don't know what you're gonna get. Um, and this is really easy to customize. You can do Mexican flavors, you could do mm -hmm. Indian flavors. We're obviously doing an Italian pairing today with pepperoni, mozzarella, some fresh basil. Mm -hmm. um, if you'll just chop up some mozzarella for us oh, here, certainly. or you can use cheddar if you have that at home. We gave a quick chop to that uh, pepperoni as well so you get a bite. You know, I, I don't wanna pull out the one piece of pepperoni and then nothing left <laughs> to flavor. The idea is to have that flavor spread through the whole burger. And then I want to show you a fun trick for how to create the two sides of the burger to create the clamshell that goes around the stuffing. Okay. So I just grab a little deli container here, any or a leftover container top, 
And then I'm just gonna use plastic wrap, as I, show, as I can show you here, to, to press it down into the shape of a disc. Oh. And the beautiful part about working with this deli top is that it actually, A, makes sure you have two evenly sized tops, mm -hmm. and also um, helps you form this little lip that you want at the edge. You see I'm just pressing it out to the outer rim. Um, bring me out over a little bit of that mozzarella, and you don't wanna- Not too much. Exactly, you don't wanna overstuff here because you definitely don't want that, thank you. Like that. Well, a grill master, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Oz over here. I love that. Keeping it busy, keeping it real. You know what? <laughs> well, while you're doing that, actually, why don't you go ahead and that, that's beautiful. Oh, yes, Just some beautiful. pepperoni, some mozzarella. Why don't you tell people what kind of beef we're looking for to make our beautiful beef patties here? Well, the thing about beef, let me just, I'll get some. This is what it looks like. So you go to the store, everyone makes this mistake. You want to get the leanest meat, right? Wrong. You don't want that at all. What you really want is about 80% lean, about 20% fat. And the reason for that is it works better. And that little bit of fat doesn't make a huge difference to your health, it makes a big difference to the quality of the food you're gonna be enjoying. Nice. Wait, all right, you need that fat to hold, the, to hold the patty together and you also need it because you know that when you bite into a juicy burger and that little pocket of like extra juice pops mm -hmm. out at you, that fat helps to create that, that nice tender juicy burger that you want. Okay. The flavor, so I the love. Yes, find the love. flavor. Okay, so I'm taking our two halves here, just folding one on top of the other Perfect. and then I'm using this saran wrap again to, pu to push together the two halves and sides, lifting it out of our top. Mm -hmm. Just gonna quickly work it around, make sure you have a nice seal and then you only want to flip it once, once it goes into a hot sizzling Ooh. pan so it doesn't start to fall apart on you. Um, that looks good, Dad. These held together, good. they held together. You can see the cheese starting to ooze out of mm. Oh, look at this, yeah, look at this. And well, look at, pay attention here, guys. You see that? Oh, that's a good surprise inside. Oh. Okay, can we look at the finished burger, please? Oh. Look at that. Oh, bring it that's on. That's for you. And this what? is for me and the lady. There oh we go. My. That looks gorgeous. And you know what? Since you since you brought us so many to taste, I've got one more. What? Guys, if you have a few extra things lying on your fridge and you want to get extra festive this Halloween, <laughs> here's your monster <laughs> version of this stuffed burger. How cute! Uh, uh, How cute is he? Look at that guy. <laughs> all right, when we come back, when we come back, we're dressing up your potatoes and you better not squash, all fine fancy. It's a grown-up dish that's perfect for this time of year. That was really cool. <laughs>